Good afternoon everyone and welcome to another video. Um, in my last video I made a comparison of Autopilot 1 versus Autopilot 2 and I got some comments on that that people were still asking which version of Autopilot do I have. So basically there are three versions right now which is Autopilot 1, Autopilot 2.0 and Autopilot 2.5. Uh, or hardware 2.5 also sometimes called hardware 2.1 so yeah in this video let's see which one is what so the first thing we need to do is look at the exterior of the car where we can already see the distinction between autopilot 1 and autopilot 2 so in this image of my P85D that I used to have you can clearly see in the middle of the windscreen that there is only one camera that is um, available for autopilot and that camera is uh, a Bosch camera which is the same for the other uh, for autopilot 2 as well but the camera itself or the system itself is from Mobileye and they provided most of the heavy lifting for uh, autopilot 1. In this image you can clearly see the uh, radar being underneath the license plate um, and centered of the car. Um, so that is a long range radar. Uh, we don't have any specifics on that but I believe it's about 150 or 160 meters. So 160 meters in range which is the same for autopilot 2. But that's a guess. It's not confirmed or I haven't found any detailed information about the actual radar range on the uh, Autopilot 1 car. If you look at this image which represents the sensor suite of Autopilot 1, you can see in blue there is a long range camera uh, which I've just shown you which is mounted in the windscreen and then in uh, green there is a long range radar which we talked about and the yellow uh, part is actually the ultrasonics which go out to uh, I think it was four and a half meters four and a half five meters um, and they give a full 360 degree coverage of the car until about five meters along so they are being used for the blind spot detection and the uh, auto lane change as I've also explained in a video that I made um, earlier about the auto lane change. So even though the Autopilot 1 car has a rear view camera, the backup camera, it's only used for the backup camera and thus for uh, watching on the uh, on the screen uh, it's not used in autopilot at all now let's dig a little deeper into autopilot 2 and autopilot 2.5 so the hardware suite for autopilot 2 is uh, on model s and model x it is still the same except for uh, in autopilot 2.5 cars which is as from about August 2017. Um, the Autopilot 2.5 cars, they have a different um, computer behind it. So the main board gets an additional uh, Parker chip. So you got two, um, two chips, two different chips on the board, which is shown here. Um, so um, this is a board for Autopilot uh, 2.5 so you see two Parker chips and one Pascal chip so the Pascal chip is the GPU and the Parker chips are CPUs um, Autopilot 2.0 as far as I know only has one of those Parker chips where Autopilot 2.5 has the additional Parker chip to have additional computing power the sensor suite in Autopilot 2 is of course a lot more elaborate so you have a long distance narrow camera uh, in the windscreen so you have three uh, above the uh, rear view mirror 
So the narrow forward camera has a maximum distance of 250 meters. The main camera has a distance of 150 meters. And the wide angle camera, which is uh, mostly used for uh, speed signs and traffic lights. So not that much at the moment because we're not having that featured at this point in software update 2018.18.2 at the moment. Uh, but that goes up to about 60 meters. Um, we have the rear view camera also, which only goes out to about uh, 50 meters. Additionally, we have cameras in the side repeaters, which are pointed uh, rearwards, and they go up to about 100 meters. And then you have cameras in the B-pillar, which are looking sideways, but a little bit forward as well. And they also go out to about 60 meter and they are being or going to be used for oncoming traffic when you uh, enter an intersection, for example. And a lot more, of course, I'm hoping that those will also be helped or be helping uh, with the auto lane change, um, which is still a dangerous uh, situation when your sensors have been uh, iced or there's a lot of mud on them for some reason then they don't work and auto lane change just thinks there's nothing there and will drive you into the car next to you so if you want to know more about that i put a link in the description uh, to another video that i created especially about that then of course uh going forward uh, we also have a uh, long range radar which is uh, looking uh, forward for 160 meters. The ultrasonics all around, they go out um, to about 8 meters. I've read also uh, that sometimes that they go out to 9 meters. Um, so yeah, between 8 and 9 meters uh, distance. So that's uh, quite a bit longer. For the forward uh, radar, uh, it's also, it's still a Bosch but they've updated the firmware on that one and that one is now a lot more detailed as well. In this image, you see a close-up of the three cameras, the forward-facing cameras. And in this one, you can clearly see a close-up of the side repeater cameras pointing backwards. So this would be the camera on the left side of the car. The radar is also positioned a little bit differently in the Autopilot 2 and 2.5 cars. So it's not no longer centered on the car and underneath the license plate because it was getting uh, too much dirt uh, on it. So now it is mounted on the driver's side, uh, a little bit next to the license plate and behind the uh, bumper. So you don't uh, see it anymore. It's hidden behind the bumper as shown here on the uh, on the image now if you put the two cars side by side so the right one is my old p85d the left one is the p100d then you can clearly see the difference on the main window um, so the, the windscreen that's on the right uh, with p85d you have one camera and you have a bigger opening allowing for three cameras uh, which is shown on the windscreen and then for the radar uh, on the right, on the P85D, it's mounted in the center, and on the P100D, it's mounted a little bit towards the uh, driver's side. Uh, so the license plate doesn't hinder, because yeah, that's a metallic plate that would hinder the radar signal if it's mounted behind that. So this is a short overview of Autopilot 2 and Autopilot 1 hardware, so you can distinguish between the two if you uh, see a car. Um, for Autopilot 2, only the three main cameras uh, are currently being used for uh, Autopilot driving. The other cameras, so the side repeater cameras and the ones on the B-pillar and the rear view camera, they are all passively being used at the moment. So they do send data to Tesla HQ uh, for uh, learning purposes, so to train the AI system but they're not actively used in autopilot at the moment so hopefully soon that will change and we'll get a lot more capabilities once those are activated all right so i hope you found this video useful 
Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so uh, you don't get left out when a new video is being published. Uh, also, uh, if you're looking into buying a new or inventory Tesla Model S or X, um, you can always use my referral code to get free supercharging. So the link is in this video and also put the link in the description. And of course, you can also give my referral code to the sales advisor if you do it in the store. For now, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.